close to six to five, but not able to, or sorry, he was up six to one. Then it was six to five, and he was able to close out the last 20 seconds of the match. Azerbaijan in the blue, Georgia in their traditional red with Yegabishvili. Yegabishvili won his lone world title in Paris, but it was down a weight. It came at 65 <coughs> kilos, now wrestling at 70 kilos four years later. The Georgians always, they have such a specific look. They look like the, the 300 folks, you know, look like they should be fighting in a war somewhere. And Usually the thick beard. Yes, huge it. thick beard. Both of these Man gentlemen have back. some pretty great manicured beards. Forehead to forehead, the young Ozzy Bajan wrestler and Bayramov in Georgia with Yekabishvili. Yekabishvili, a two-time European bronze medalist as well. He was an Olympic qualifier in 2016. Still remember his match. He was eliminated in the quarters by Frank Chimizo in an entertaining bout. They usually are with Chimizo. Yeah, he does things that you, know, you miss him here in the tournament just because he, he brings such a flair to the sport. And he's usually the one that will compete anywhere, but up, you know, so close to the Olympics, he decided to stay home. Slow pace to this one to begin. The referee's going to try to pick it up a little bit. He will issue the warning to Byramov first time. Next time, he'll go up onto the activity clock. Halfway through period number one, nothing settled in the second bronze medal match at 70. Championship coming up will feature the countries of Kyrgyzstan and Poland, and we will have history made tonight. Stick around for that. Both countries looking to crown their first men's world gold medalists. So a lot on the line with Kyrgyzstan and Poland. That's gold medal coming up in just a moment. Shot clock into effect. They tag the former world champion first. And Georgia right now holding on to that fourth place in the team standings. Always Georgia is right in the mix. You might be wondering, well, what happened to Iran if you've been following our broadcast? Man, they, they came out like gangbusters, started as hot as anybody that opening night. They cooled off a little bit, and you saw both Russia and the United States make their move, so Iran right now, mathematically, no chance to come away with the team title. Action out of bounds, says the Georgian struck just as the activity clock expired, so we're tied at one. Step out point awarded. Azerbaijan gets the passivity point, but saw Georgia get the step out point. And that was an explosive attack right on the edge of the mat to get the point for Yakubishvili. Neither wrestler taking a lot of chances in the opening three minutes. It's like they know each other quite well. And they will head off into the corners and try to find some offense in this second period. Both of them have a stance where their hips are pretty far back and they use their hands to keep their opponents at bay, which makes it really difficult to go on that attack. They have an, I will say Eastern Bloc countries have an uncanny ability to explode from a flat-footed stance. They don't have a lot of side-to-side -side motion. They don't have a lot of fakes, but they use their hands and heads so well that they can change their level and get to an attack so amazingly fast. We'll see if some of that comes into play here in this second period. By Ramov, he won the Youth Olympics. That was back in 2018, held in beautiful Buenos Aires, Argentina. He's also won the U23 World Championship, and that was just two years ago, two-time junior world bronze medalist. So he has a bright future. By Ramov was a late replacement, if you recall, for Azerbaijan in the Tokyo Olympic Games. The great Gatshiev was uh, pulled. He sustained a knee injury in the lead up to the game, so a tough break for one of the really good wrestlers in 
the country of Azerbaijan. So in step Bayramov, and he was able to pick up some valuable experience in Tokyo. Obviously, he trains against one of the best in the world each and every day, and he's the complete package. Right, and he was up at 74 for the Olympics, correct? And yes. then moved down to 70 here. Well, a good ankle pick there. Reaching in was Ishia Fili, and just couldn't quite grab on and latch permanently. Yavishvili with a near miss, still with the tiebreaker in his corner, tied at one. Right, and Yakovshvili in that quad pod position, so difficult to get to the corner. And right now they're about to put Behramov, looks like they're gonna put him on the clock as the, he has not uh, done enough action to, to get any scores. And again, when we're looking at passivity, it's not always who's not active, it's who's not scoring. You can make as many attacks as you want, but if you're not scoring, they can put you on the clock. We'll see here in a minute 30 if Beramov takes off on a couple of attacks. He, he hasn't done a whole lot. And honestly, he didn't do a whole lot in his semifinal match, even though at the end of the match it was, uh, there was some controversy from the Azeri corner. Beramov gives up the point, has the underhook. Mikabishvili able to pump out the hook and then he shoots in submarine single gets down below the knees on by Ramoff by Ramoff looking to push his hips back in and then kick out but Yakubishvili is uh, driving that shoulder into the hamstring of Bay Ramoff very difficult to score when you have someone's hamstring digging into that hamstring and I, I like the fact that Yakubishvili is, is going on the offense absolutely however well, he's got a Cradle almost locked up for Bayramov. Yeah, almost a standing cradle there from Azerbaijan. Now he tries to slip behind. Yakubishvili drops back down to the comfort of the leg as the two work their way near the edge. Right, and, and in order to score points, you have to cover the hips. So the fact that Bayramov's leg is in between the legs of Yakubishvili, it's one of the best ways to stall out a match. Although he goes for two. Referee says two. Let's see if it's confirmed. No points awarded yet, clock inside 10. Looked like that got white paddled, no two for Baramov. Meantime, Yakubishvili continues just to hold and grind on that leg, and time expires. Very close, let's see if Azerbaijan challenges. They are hitting that button there and looking for a challenge. Looked like he broke that 90 degree plane with that little chest wrap. From my angle, we'll see what happens from the angle of the cameras. And they have several cameras around the mat to see, and they want to make this call correct. But again, in order to score those two points on the exposure points, your, your back has to break 90 degrees from the mat. And, you know, that's just a, a little bit off center. And it looked to me like Bayramov put him in the position to score. Watch right here. So, and one thing, Brian, I noticed, again, we cannot see the chairman and the judge. The two was actually awarded. They gave him the two. It wasn't indicated as we were watching the action live time. So you might be wondering, why is Georgia challenging? Well, that's because they did give the two in the end. So Georgia challenging the two right now that they gave to Byramo. Right, and in my opinion, it, it, there's no question that that's two. He changed the direction of the athlete. He chest wrapped him. He took him through for two. We'll see what the jury says here in, a, in just a moment. By Yakashvili taking attack after attack into the leg. And you just saw the official look up at the official uh, and say, I think it was two. The Georgia coach saying he thinks it should be two. So we couldn't see the scoreboard. They had given Bayramov the two. Georgia challenged that because right. they thought they had two. Yeah, but I was confused because on the scoreboard it still said two to one for Georgia. 
Yeah, and that's what I had mentioned, that we could not see it, and that's why I said the challenge was from Georgia because at the end they gave the two to Baramov to go up 3-2. And now Georgia is saying that it should be 4-3 Four Four three. because they felt they got two toward the end. Right. So confusion at the end of this bronze medal match. What looked to be a 2-1 to one score then it appeared to be Byramov up 3-2. They go to the, re the review committee. They go two blue and then two red, which should put Yekapishvili up 4-3 in Georgia with the bronze. And I honestly did not see the two points for Yekapishvili. I, I don't love that call, but it goes to the jury of the appeals and the jury says it goes to Georgia. Oh, you can see the look of 